next it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between Brad Tavares and Bruce Lee. Hey guys, this is Mr. JJ. Today I'll be showing the world the championship between Bruce Lee and Brad Tavares. I hope you guys can like it. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. Defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Walter White Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Brad. Tavares! All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This one. been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think get a kickboxing match is another one? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman.
circling towards the left now. A oh, little single collar tie there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just missed with the left there. Sneaky head kick. Effective punch there by the Hawaiian Brad Tavares. He loaded up on that right hand too. Just over three minutes to go. We cross the midpoint in round one. Hands high, hands high. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Gets touched by that kick to the body. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Devores gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Two minutes remain in the round. Just missing on the uppercut there. Tavores gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for BT Brad Tavares. Oh, slips to avoid the right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Circling to his right. Come on, keep riding. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Keep your hands up, boy. Come on now. Let's move. Let's reconfirm. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Take more of these leg kicks. You will not be able to be very active on your feet. 20 seconds left. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, round 
two. Liver kick. Nice punch by Lee. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. That's a big strike right there. Knee to the body, got it up, but didn't get it to the target. Blocked there by Brad Tavares. There's no tell on that leg kick. And they clinch once again. Torres gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Dig deep, dig deep. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Outstanding kick there by Brad Torres. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Nice jab. Body kick now by Lee. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He's a tall fighter and is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown. But now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. You got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by the Hawaiian Brad Tavares. Nice body kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. It's a beautiful, fast quick jab with meaning. landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point. Oh, there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at the turnover in that kick. Ten minutes 
in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. A nice punch by Lee. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Big kick land. Just missed with the leg kick. That knee, that knee hurt him. Jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, big shot land. Spinning back fist. Strike to the body here instead. It's turned away by Brad Tavares. And both guys really throwing with authority. Shoot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Big knee lands there. Oh, big left hook there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Visibly limping here. You gotta check these low leg kicks. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Throwing that jab, no good. Come on, man, let's get that takedown score. Some Able points. to check the high kick. Let's get going now. Relax, relax. Keep your hands out of range with that kick attempt. with that jab attempt there.
All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. So unable to connect on the uppercut. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. the head kick looked like there might have been a window there instead it is blocked by Brad Tavares whiffs on that offering swing and a miss with that straight left hand oh big knee to the body man alive Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. Oh, and he lands another knee there. Oh, he's right thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Big knee to the body. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Hands higher, hands higher. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, there we go. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Maybe an opportunity to get a choke here. Yeah, he lifts the head and goes under. Looks like he's trying to get a bulldog choke. Oh, nice. You don't see this very often. Most times it happens at a family barbecue. Huh. The only time we've seen it in the octagon is Robbie Lawler versus Ben Askren. There, deep. there you go. Not tapping out tonight. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, just misses with the kick. 
One minute to go. Tavares is circling towards the left now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Home for that left hand. Nice leg kick. That landed. Ten seconds to go. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so you see the cut on the eyebrow is only getting worse as we come to the end of this round, and the fighter quickly back to the stool. That cut's gonna get some attention, but again, as soon as he absorbs another strike, that thing figures to open right back up. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Moving to his left now. Big kick land. Jaw is extremely swollen now. There's no give on that leg kick. Missed with that attempt. Oh, serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Brad Tavares. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all the way out. 
working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom player. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost easy. Right now, he's got to start doing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Big kick land. Oh, good kicks there. Misses with the right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Whoa! He's out! Whoa! That was nasty! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent only saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We now go inside the octagon Ladies where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Stop this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, so he dedicated decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you got to take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he said, I will be the champion. He got it done tonight, and you got to take your hat off to him for staying.